Hi, Nick Smith here. I'm going to go through a um, quick setup of a lighting reality project. Um, and so basically how we set up a project from um, from start to finish. So I'm going to start off on the left hand side and um, the first thing we need to do is to select the lighting standard we want to design to and the methodology of design that we want to uh, record. Um, and um, so we've got EM13201 2015 luminance and illuminance. We've got the two CIE140 standards, um, IES RP8 if you're from um, Canada or, or North America. Um, I think there's some parts of the Middle East that use um, RP8 as well. Um, we also have the BS5489 2013 illuminance grid. Um, you would use that if you want to take account of the SP ratio of the light source um, to reduce the class. BS5489 uh, 1992 standard parts 2, 3 and 10 and lastly EM13201 2003 luminance and illuminance. Um, the uh, the former standards, those bottom five, um, which are obviously superseded now. So I'm going to set up an illuminance grid. Um, I'm going to select a lighting class, um, and we then go through and put in the um, geometry of the road. Um, in this case, the total width is the dimension from back of footpath to back of footpath. We then go in and um, put in the uh, footpath or the sidewalk um, geometry. Um, and so we're looking at this dimension from here to here. You can include in that any grass verge. Um, the reason we do that is that when we look at the setback, we measure the setback of the pole or the column from the face of curb um, for the fa or the edge of the, um, the carriageway. So um, I've set my roadway up. I'm going to move on to my column arrangement now. Um, the mounting height, the angle of tilt, I'm going to leave that set at zero. Um, the setback is the dimension from uh, face of curb to the centre of the column and the outreach is the dimension from the centre of the column here to the optical centre of the lantern. Um, that would include any bracket projection that you, um, you may want to include. So the setback minus the outreach gives you the overhang, so that's showing us that the optical centre of the lantern is 1.1 meters behind the curb edge. We then set up the configuration. Um, we can either go single-sided left, right, or right, opposite, staggered, staggered, reversed, and um, twin central. Um, I'm going to go with single-sided left. Single-sided left and right. It doesn't make a great deal of difference um, to the. It doesn't make any difference to the calculations. The only thing it affects is the presentation um, of what you see on the screen and ultimately what you um, what you print out. Um, I have a separate. Um, screencast which covers the printing and reporting from the roadway in lighting reality. So um, we now move on to the um, to the luminaire setup um, and we're going to go with the maintenance factor first. Um, obviously if you have your program set up again I have a separate piece of video which covers the setting up of um, default settings and options. Um, I have my maintenance factor set at 0.79. I do a lot of residential designs and um, Therefore, I have it set up um, with that in mind. Um, so the next thing we do is we go to Choose Luminaire, and we go through this building database program. Um, the speed of the hard drive you have will depend on how quick that is. I have um, a solid-state drive in this machine, so it's quite quick. Um, it also depends on the amount of data you've got. I've got a lot of supplementary data here. This is the machine I use for um, preparing the photometric data sets in um, in lighting reality. So we um, we can go through and um, choose a luminaire that we want to use um, and um, let's go with that lantern and we'll try the A-Optic. Um, so I'm going to sort it by um, by lumen package. Um, so I've got I've gone high to low here so obviously this one goes as low as 300 lumens uh, but I'm going to go with the with the start at the 5,000 end, which I think is going to be closer to what I um, what I actually need. Um, so we've got two options at this point. The first one is is that if we know the distribution or the lens setting and the drive current we want to use, let's say it's that one, we can optimize that, um, and that will give us a spacing um, 
41 meters and then a minimum spacing of 29 works pretty well that for me uh, maybe i just go go through and, and use that um, it may well be you also have a spacing in mind and you want to find a product that actually fits the criteria you can see as we up here as we go along that they're all red um, which indicates it's non-compliant and then sooner or later what you'll start to see is some of the values turning green and um, ultimately um, there we go there's one there um, at 40 meters that lantern fits the criteria so um, perhaps we go with that one I don't know the alternative is is that we can um, we can just optimize the whole folder there's 256 different options in this um, optic setting body size um, and color temperature I'm using a 3000 Kelvin lead um, and um, so I can go through and optimize all that and uh, sooner or later it will arrive at a solution you will start to see X's appearing um, in here we're getting quite low in the spacings and okay maybe you won't see any X's clearly you wouldn't go build something at eight or nine meter centers that would be ridiculous so uh, there's a couple of X's there where we've got non-compliant solutions so I can sort it by um, spacing um, I can include things like th threshold increment and energy calculations which I should have perhaps done to start off with um, and you can see now that some of the solutions that were available before are no longer available. I would guess that's probably because the threshold increment's too high. Uh, I am guessing, though. Um, let me just have a quick look. Let's select that one. Yes, the threshold increment's above the um, 30. Uh, to be fair, probably the wrong fitting to use in this, perhaps. Um, so I'm going to go with this fitting here. Um, I've got a maximum spacing of 42, perhaps this one here, um, slightly lower lumen package. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the optimum spacing here, I'm looking at the minimum spacing here, I'm also looking at the lumen package. Um, clearly those two will give the same solution, but this one here is a 35 watt fitting, you can see that up here, um, compared with a 52 watt fitting. So. Um, it's possible that, um, that we may find another solution that um, that's a 41 watt fitting um, that's the 35 watt fitting the spacing is not quite as good so I, I'd probably go with this fitting here um, so that's how we set up a uh, calculation for illuminance in lighting reality um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, um, please add the questions to the, um, the area below in uh, YouTube. Um, you can also tweet me at nicksmith1246 through Twitter. You can send me an email to support at nicksmithassociates.com. And if you find this useful and you would like further updates, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and then when I post a new video, you will get um, those um, notifications through via email. Uh, finally, if you have a topic you want me to cover, please message me um, either through YouTube, LinkedIn, um, or um, you can tweet me at nicksmith1246 or send me an email to support at nicksmithassociates.com and um, I can cover that in a, a future episode. Thank you very much for, for listening and I hope you found it useful.